We are going to use OneNote to create a frequently asked question or FAQ. Though Microsoft has a lot of different apps, none of them are great for building a quick and easy FAQ. The closest thing they have right now is SharePoint FAQ, but the limitations of the SharePoint FAQ is that you cannot link direct to questions. So what qualities are we looking for in a great FAQ? Well, we need to be able to group questions into categories. We also need to be able to provide FAQ users with direct links to the questions. And we need to be able to link within the FAQ so that answers can be used as components. And this reduces the amount of time and effort needed to maintain the FAQ when changes to our information occur. And of course, our FAQ needs to be easily shareable with stakeholders. This is not a lot to ask for, yet SharePoint doesn't provide these basic things. So we turn to OneNote, which has been around for a while, and it does provide all of these things. So let's start putting something together and see how each of these requirements can be met. So I've created a new OneNote notebook, and I've called it FAQ. And what we're going to do is start by adding a new section, which we have here. And we're going to rename this section Table of Questions, aka Table of Content. And then we're going to add a new section, which is going to be one of our FAQ categories. So we're going to have a, um, various categories. So I'm also going to rename this so that we can rename our categories. And this is going to be a FAQ for a um, training department. So we're going to have such categories of questions, such as classes and schedule. And let's just add a third section, and we'll call it registrations. Sorry, let me re um, name this one, registrations. All right, so we've got three categories. And of course, we'll have more. But this is a, a start for now for our example. So in each category, we're going to list out our questions. So the each category is going to have pages, and we're going to have a main page, which will be this first one. And the main page will just be the same name of the section over here that we have over here. So we're going to call this page classes, just like we have that. And then we're going to add another one underneath this first page, our main page. We're going to make it a sub page. All of the sub pages under this main page here are going to be the actual questions. So, um, we're going to put our first question in here and we'll just say what classes are offered this quarter and then we'll have our answer here so the answer you know, will just be answer just to have something in there and then we can go ahead and add another page which is another question we make it a sub page and we'll say, um, who are instructors for this quarter? And so forth and so on. Now, what we do for at the, at the main page for each section is we want a table of questions for that section. So we right click on the page and we select copy link to page and we go back here and we just go ahead and hit enter to, and then we control V to paste in that question. And then we grab the next question, copy link to page, go here and paste in our question. Now we have a table of questions for each section, right? Now, 
if you see the dotted line under this, it means that there's no text in the body of this page. So for right now, we put a placeholder text just to get rid of that. Um, and you can see that the dotted lines disappear. Now, if you click on these, it'll take you right to that question and answer page. Now, what we wanna do is we wanna build out our table of contents as we're doing this as well. So what you'll do for that is you'll right click here, copy link to section, and you're gonna put that in the table of questions. So this section is literally just gonna be the links to the individual questions and sections, right? So we go back to this section and we grab this. We can actually grab um, the link to this page instead of the section and kind of do it either way. Like either way works. So we can go to classes. And then what I do is I hit enter and I hit tab. And that's what we're going to put in the individual pages or questions. And the idea here is that you're doing this to make a table of questions where a section where all of the questions live. And that's to make it easy for your stakeholder to get to all of the questions. All the questions live here. So we go to schedule, we build this out as well, schedule, and we add another page and we make this a sub page. And for schedule, where can I find the class schedule? And we put some placeholder text in there. And we copy link to page in here, we paste in there. We go back to our table of questions. If we first grab copy link to page, go back here. Now we can add in the next section, go back here, copy link to this page, this question, and we paste it under here. So now you can see the format that we're going with. So again, the table of questions, this sec section only exists to have all of the questions listed out so that I can, as a stakeholder, I go to this FAQ and I see all of the questions here, as well as these little sections here. So if I want to see all of the questions related to classes, I click classes, it takes me here. And once again, I have all of the questions here. And if I want to see the individual questions and answers, I click here on the question and it takes me right to that section there. Now, another thing that you want to do is in each section, if I click into a question, I also want to be able to navigate back to the table of questions. So we can right click here and copy link to page. And then what we can do inside each answer is at the bottom of the answer, we can have a return to, and then we paste this in, return to table of questions. And I can grab that and I can go to each page and put that in. And another thing you can do is you can grab the link to the section, so classes, and you can put that in as well. Return to category classes. So now you've got that in there as well. And I can put that in each of the classes questions. So that's going to be the format for every question that I have in this category so that I'm allowing my stakeholders to quickly return to the sections, aka categories. And of course, I'm going to include that return to table of questions link in each section as well. So I'll have all the questions listed in each section. And then at the bottom, I have this return to table of questions. That's going to jump me right back to the table of questions, which is essentially our cover for of our book, of our notebook, for the entire notebook, the entire FAQ. So that's basically our format for every section and page of our FAQ. 
That makes it easy for our stakeholders to jump around. And of course, the nice thing is that when you are helping your stakeholders, you need to give them a way to jump directly to your specific, to the specific question that they have. So when you're helping them, you can right click here, you can grab copy link to page and you can hop over to your email and I'll just create a new email here and you can paste that right in there and it's gonna allow them to go directly to the specific question and get their answer. And then of course you can also grab a link to the entire um, workbook. But what we can do in this case is just grab copy link to page and this will be like, um, you know, link to the entire FAQ. So we can say like view entire FAQ and we can insert a link. So we go link and I copied that. So that's gonna grab the URL and we click okay. Now that will take them directly to the entire workbook. And of course you wanna make sure that you, when you share this, um, you're sharing it with, you're sharing it um, so that people are gonna be able to view only. So you can see here, it says view. So when you're sharing it, you wanna make sure that um, you don't have it on the edit settings. But one more thing that we need to look at, which is creating components, incorporating components into our questions. So what I mean by that is, for example, we have this answer here and the question is what classes are offered this quarter and we can say um, this quarter this quarter we offer the following classes and then we list them out here so we go 101 102 103 like that um, and let's say that we had another question over here that was what classes were offered, what classes were offered last quarter? And in our answer, of course, we have 101, 102, 103, et cetera. And so we want to incorporate this question and answer. So we grab copy link to page and we go to this question here and we have something like last quarter we offered the following classes. And you can just paste that in there and that is the component. You can also do something like making this a link. This and the address paste it in there. So instead that becomes the components. That way you're not duplicating instead of putting something in the answer here, like last quarter we offered and then you list them all. Um, instead you build in a component so that this becomes part of the answer, but it becomes a link to this question, which is a question that you might also receive. So that's how, what I mean by the way that we can link questions to questions. So that's gonna do it. I hope that you found this helpful. Um, I think this is a really great way to create an, a ba very basic FAQ that checks all of the boxes that we started out earlier, right? OneNote's been around for a while. It's still a very great way to create an FAQ as opposed to some of the newer things that they've released, Microsoft has released for creating FAQs that just don't check these boxes. Um, so let me know in the comments below if you have any questions and also if you have um, found a better way to create an FAQ using an existing Microsoft application. Thanks everyone for watching and we'll see you in that next video. Take care everyone, bye-bye.